Even if a snake is not poisonous, it should pretend to be venomous. Snakes can control the amount of venom they inject, and may bite aggressively for food, or defensively for protection. Snakes have a limited amount of venom, available at any given time, and do not want to waste it on non-prey organisms. As a result, about 40% of bites suffered by humans are defensive in nature and dry, without envenomation. It is interesting to note that, although most people profess to fear or hate snakes, one of the most visited areas of any zoo is the snake house. Proof that snakes are mysterious and fascinating. Even if they are loathed. Given their exquisite colors, patterns, and graceful movements as they crawl, swim, or climb, some snakes can be considered among the most beautiful animals. In common parlance, venomous snakes are often referred to as poisonous snakes. This phrase is not technically correct, because the term poisonous only applies to organisms that unload their toxins when another organism consumes them. Very few snakes are truly poisonous. One of the most common, yet harmless, poisonous snakes in North America is the garter snake. It is hard to believe but snakes have many enemies. Large birds, wild boars, mongooses, raccoons, foxes, coyotes and even other snakes are a few of the dangers snakes fall prey to. Egg-eating snake, a non-venomous snakes, comprise the family Colubridae. Members of Dasapeltis eat only bird eggs. Sometimes consume the eggs and adult forms of other animals. The mouth is enormously distensible, and the teeth are greatly reduced to accommodate a bird's egg as large as a chicken's. The reproduction process of these reptiles is primarily a process of internal fertilization. Most species intertwine their bodies with that of their partner, and the male releases the sperm from one of the two organs it has. The female doesn't necessarily become pregnant with her young right away. Some females can store the male sperm for two to five years before fertilization. The female then deposits the entire clutch of eggs in a protected damp, warm, and usually dark place, often along with clutches from other females of the same species.
The young snake, whether from an egg or born alive, comes equipped with a sharp cutting device on its upper lip, the egg too. It slashes its way out of the rubbery eggshell with this too. Within a very short time after birth, the first sloughing of the skin takes place, and the egg tooth is shed at about the same time. The rate of growth is correlated with availability of food and temperatures high enough to permit full metabolic activity. When all factors are optimal, snakes grow surprisingly fast. All snakes are carnivores. Their diet depends on the species. Some eat warm-blooded prey, example, rodents, rabbits, birds, while others eat insects, amphibians, frogs or toads, eggs, other reptiles, fish, earthworms, or slugs. Snakes swallow their food whole. The most popular pet snakes usually eat prey such as mice, rats, gerbils, and hamsters. Larger pet snakes also eat whole rabbits. The most essential and time-consuming activity for a snake during non-dormant periods, regardless of its habitat, is the pursuit, capture, and digestion of food. Snakes also have forked tongues, which they flick in different directions to smell their surroundings. That lets them know when danger, or food, is nearby. Snakes have several other ways to detect a snack. Openings called pit holes in front of their eyes sense the heat given off by warm-blooded prey and bones in their lower jaws pick up vibrations from rodents and other scurrying animals. Most snakes consume one prey item and then rest before eating again.
Some snake species eat fish instead of rodents and can digest fish without any issues. These snakes enjoy a more aquatic-based diet. While snakes in the wild can and do eat fish, it is never usually their only and exclusive source of food within their diet. It's also important to note that some species will prefer eating a fish over a mouse. Now that we know that snakes can eat fish, naturally the next question to follow is would a snake eat a fish if it was available or presented to them? Generally speaking, it depends. It is something you will need to offer and see. Bear in mind that many snake owners wrongfully assume that snakes will eat guppies because they are small fish. If you would like to feed fish to your snake, you must consider the type that you offer. This is because there are certain species of fish that you should never attempt to feed. Certain fish species, like goldfish, toughies, flathead minnows, and rosy reds, contain a compound that obstructs a snake's ability to absorb thiamine, vitamin B1. This obstruction could cause your snake to become ill and develop a disorder of their nervous system. A thiamine deficiency can result in death. You must be confident that what you're feeding your snake won't cause him any harm. If you are wondering whether you should feed a fish dead or alive, the truth is it doesn't matter. You can feed either to your snake 